Well, hello, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is for September 4th through 10th. So let's see what we got. We're going to go into love, money, career, and then a random message um, for the week. Okay. All right. So let's see, Virgo. Let's start with your love energy. Oh, it's flying out. So we have anchor, clouds, <clears throat> and stars. This is interesting. Uh, Virgo, when it comes to love, you're building relationships. Um, and this is with everyone. This is not just with a loved one. And it and it may just be with a loved one, okay? But I see you building relationships on boundaries, morals, and things uh, that you hold dear. So I don't see a lot of compromise in these cards, right? Um, I see you being like, I'm important and there are some things that I want in a relationship or a connection with others. Um, and I'm going to nurture that, you know, I'm not going to accept anything less. Um, you know, and it's not you being mean. It's more you being proactive, like almost self-care in a way. Um, you know, like about what you what's respectful and what's not respectful so i see you paying a lot of attention to things like that um and i see other people being a little bit confused about the change and they don't know how to feel about it but you're like if this is meant to be if it's meant to work out it will work out you know but i'm i'm putting in this effort to create the situations that are best for me. It's very beautiful, you know. Um, it's like you're more connected to yourself when you're being honest and truthful and not trying to, like, make situations easier or better for others. You're just being your true, honest self this week, Virgo. I mean, for sure. True, honest self. That's, what, that's what's coming out of this, okay? Okay. So then we have Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, Ten of Cups. King of Swords, Queen of Coins, and the Six of Wands. So these all came out in reverse, but for some reason I'm getting the feeling to turn them around. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, your goal this week is to nurture healthy relationships and to nurture... Um, like, it's like, I'm going to give and I want to receive a certain type of love, right? And I'm going to give love out as well, but I'm not going to do it in an unhealthy way. Like, I'm not going to let someone overstep my boundaries, but I'm also going to love them and care for them. I'm not going to be ignorant or mean, okay? Um, but you know exactly what you want, especially with the king of swords here. You know exactly what you want. You know exactly how you're going to make it happen. And to some people, it may be a little bit like final when they're used to you being quite uh, flexible, you know, but and you are in a way, but also you're standing by what it is that you mean. That's what swords is like. I'm the authority. I'm in control over the logic, and this is how I want it to go. But you're doing it in a loving way, which is absolutely beautiful, Virgo. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, <laughs> like whoever you're dealing with or whoever you're bringing this energy to, they're trying their best to like go with the flow. That's what I see. They're like, okay, we're on a journey. We're on a journey, um, and I'm willing to stick this out with Virgo, especially with the queen of coins. You know, this is a person that is like, this is worth the long term. And I like this. Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, Virgo. They like the comfortability of knowing, you know, that this means something. It's simple, you know, like to them, it's not complicated. There's no games. You're being straightforward. You know what you want. You're not, you're not. Uh, being flexible on that and for some reason even though it's confusing to them and it's a bit of a journey and a learning lesson for them they like the comfortability I will tell you that so your goal is to be happy and I feel like you like this direction because it means like I, I don't feel like you're not compromising this is not you just being like do this do this do this 
it's very compromising but because the queen of cups does compromise you know there's love here there's care there's nurturing you're trying to support the relationship not hinder it right um but also you're like if i give you too much flexibility it's, this is almost like if i give you an inch you take a mile so i'm gonna pull back a little bit i see this building a very strong relationship with someone or with people because there's a sense of you knowing your worth and it makes you very attractive to this person because they feel secure because it's like I know what I want and I want you to be there okay but you can't be acting crazy you know, this is exactly what this says. Um, so it actually is a very, very good love energy. Very good, Virgo. Okay. Okay, let's see what we have for money and career. What are you up to, my little baby? Wow. Oh. Okay, sorry, I was talking to my cat. Money. <laughs> Money and career. We have bouquet. Oh. At one time in your life, you thought, I can only focus on either my career. I can only focus on my money situation or I can only focus on love. Um, it's not like you cut everything off. It's not like you found a relationship and then just stopped working. But it's more like that's where your mind was. And I feel like this week you're learning how to create balance in all of those things in your life. Um, there's a lot of energy about healthy balance this week, Virgo. I love this for you. So it's that realization that you can be happy in all aspects, not just one specifically. You know, you don't have to put all your energy into love. You don't have to put all your energy into work. You can do percentages, you know, and it, it's more... It creates more well-being in your life, okay? So we have Seven of Swords, Magician, Three of Wands, Eight of Swords, the Emperor, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, this is, this is definitely realizing some things. Realizing how much in control you actually are. How you can make things happen. Looking at life as a gift looking at situations as a gift and also looking at um, when things get tough or when there are challenges that they teach you how to like it makes you focus on that area and be like okay so I need to learn balance or I need to figure out how to integrate this you know um, it's wisdom it's wisdom and knowing that how to execute your power <laughs> and take action um, in a healthy way, okay? So, I don't know why we're talking about the past. So in the past, I feel like you felt sort of like you were wandering, okay? So this may be a past career or maybe in the same career just at a different time. It kind of felt like you were just wandering around, going to work every day, nine to five, monotonous. You're like, I'm just doing this to pay my bills. Um, you're definitely coming out of that mindset, and seeing that you have much more control and you can create more situations. I see a lot of you, Virgos, um, making opportunities happen for yourself in money and career. And it's not like, it's almost, it's not like you didn't think about it, but you were like, well, I'll deal with it later. I got other stuff that focus on. 
but you're like, I have so much power. I can create, I can make things happen. I can get this position. I can do this. I can get this raise. Yeah, it's like realizing that all the obstacles that you thought you had, you don't really have. Interesting. And that puts you more in power and that makes you more... It makes you more powerful. It makes you more in charge. But in a healthy spiritual way. It's not like you're being overbearing. Interesting. All right. That's beautiful. Listen, Virgo, reading, fantastic. <laughs> okay. So, random message for Virgo for this week of September 4th through 10th. Bouquet again beautiful beautiful week okay bear twice and ship don't be scared and don't run away from changes you're making some really powerful changes in your life in areas that have kind of been stagnant for a long time don't be afraid don't run away don't distance yourself um, stay there okay this is a beautiful time and it's like you really need to appreciate it um, and respect the energy that's happening right now okay so let's get into your cards okay seven of swords in reverse again ace of swords will of fortune unity Page of Cups and Magician again. You're learning the truth about the choices that you've made. So this week highlights all the choices you've made in the past that weren't necessarily the right ones. Okay. And it's like, you know, the truth, you're aware of that. And instead of sitting in that and, and basking over the past and all that kind of stuff, you're deciding to move forward. And even though you don't really know what's going to happen, I don't feel like that scares you. The confusion does not scare you. I feel like you're not letting it manipulate you into feeling rejection it's more like if i want change i have to take control if i don't i'm going to be manipulated by my circumstances and that is not where you want to be it's that simple okay all right virgo that was an easy one thank you so much i'll see you next week okay bye bye